who ran a red light, hit an 88 year old driver and then kept going. That's what Baltimore police are trying to find out tonight. They tell us that woman is dead after somebody crashed into her yesterday, and now they need your help trying to find out who did this. WMER 2 News Jack Watson was in Northwest Baltimore tonight. Jack, what are folks saying about this intersection in this area? Well, Kelly, this was on Liberty Heights Avenue. It becomes Liberty Road as you get further and further west into the county. And I'm told traffic around this particular intersection we're talking about is chaotic and has been for quite a while. I ran to the door to see what was happening, and then I seen them. Gwen Shipley peered outside and saw a tragedy, the aftermath of a fatal hit-and-run crash which took the life of a senior citizen. Shipley says aggressive driving here sadly isn't new. Sometimes they try to make that light if it's on red, or on green, get ready to put it on yellow, and the cars get ready to stop. Some want to go right through that yellow. Police tell us around 5.30 Monday afternoon, 88-year-old Barbara Logan was driving on Liberty Heights Avenue through a steady green light when the driver of a white Ford F-150 ran a red and hit her. This how many everybody's in a rush to go nowhere fast, and um, unfortunately someone lost their life. Baltimore Police Detective Vernon Davis says Logan was taken to the hospital, but first responders couldn't save her. And someone ran a light and hit her, and didn't have the decency to stay there and actually call police or try to get her some aid. Um, so not particularly this, this corner, but anybody, just slow down. Take your time. It's horrible. It's just ridiculous. It just doesn't make any sense. Marie Davis works at a law firm across the street and deals with this traffic every day. Davis wants to see an end to the carefree driving that leads to stories like this. Traffic is horrific. People just drive with no concern, speeding, trying to weave in and out. Don't give us, don't care if a pedestrian is crossing the street or anything like that. Police say the car fled this area going north onto Callaway Avenue. Now they keep their eyes peeled for the pickup driver whom they say did it. Well, Baltimore police again looking for any details that might help them find that driver. You can contact them by calling 911. Jamie. Oh.